Angel Baby. So I'm doing another reading. And this is just going to be... I wanted to say it was just going to be general, but I really didn't want to do this video because I felt like for some of you, you need to know why people are jealous of you. And we already have cards popping out, so I feel like Spirit really needs to tell you this. So we have the Knight of Wands, and we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. And we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. For, for some of you people, are really, oh my god, and we have the Nine of Pentacles in the upright. So for some of you, a lot of you have people that are jealous of you because you're able to attract attention from a lot of people. Okay, um, a lot of people wanting to take action with you and with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, that doesn't happen for them. Okay, um, I think for some of you, you're also able to develop or have your finances in order and that also does not happen for them. So they're, ooh, got a card flying there about that. They're very unhappy about that, okay? We have the, yeah, the Nine of Swords, okay? This person is very stressed and anxious about the amount of attention that you've been getting, okay? Um, they could be, I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm not going to say that. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Two of Wands in the reverse is very significant to me here because I feel like this person feels like they don't know how to move forward with you. Like they feel like you have the world in your hands and they don't even know what to offer you because they feel like, maybe they feel like they don't really amount to much. We also have the Two of Swords popping out here. I'm not going to take that. I just wanted to show it to you. But, um, oh shoot. Okay, we also have, yeah, oh my god. The Five of Swords in reverse, clarifying the Ace of Wands. This person wants to come true and honest about where their dick has been or where their vagina has been. <laughs> oh shit, this person does not want to lose you, basically. Okay, they want to be completely 110% honest about where it is that they've been sexually in order to move on with you in some sort of way. Um, and the first card that I looked at out of this pile in my hand was the death card. So, like, for some of you, somebody's mad that they used to be a player and now they're caught with the death card. Like, death clarifying the nine of pentacles. Like, that's an ending to somebody being single. Because single is, like... The Nine of Pentacles is a very single energy. It's somebody looking good, somebody being abundant, somebody that has financial abundance. Like, it's the end of that. Like, it is the end of that. Like, it is the end of them being single and having a fruitful garden. Now you gotta share your shit, basically. <laughs> Somebody's upset. Somebody could be upset in a less lighter kind of tone that they're dying and now they have to share their money and they didn't think that they had to do that ever in life, okay? Um, but others of you, somebody's just mad because, like, you look good, you're getting a lot of attention from other suitors that are literally rushing into you, and they don't get that attention. This person could be a Scorpio that's jealous of you for that reason. Okay, they're jealous that, you know, you look good, you're attractive to people. For others of you, okay, they're feeling very, very left out, okay, by this energy of you attracting people like you being attractive and having people rush in they're very very sad and feel kind of left out in the cold and it causes them a lot of anxiety okay because you are attracting this attention like they don't really know what to do I feel like some of them have never been left out in the cold before like they're used to having people chase after them and not really used to um I feel like they're used to other people, like, being with somebody that's super attractive, but they're not used to, like, the energy that you bring to the table, okay? Like, they're not used to, like, they're not used to having anxiety over anybody. Like, this person, <laughs> I'm sorry I keep laughing because it's not funny. This person is mad because they don't have anything to pinpoint on you. Like, they can't say, oh, this one thing is wrong. That's why they're attracting this attention. Like, no, this person can't find anything negative about you to, like, be like, oh, that's why they're attracting this attention. Like, you know, like, oh, they're a hoe. That's why they're attracting this. Like, you ain't a hoe, angel baby. Like, there's, there's nothing that you're doing. <laughs> Okay, in a negative way to attract this attention to you. And it's really got this person fucked up. Okay, um, for some of you, 
their lies and deceit is what's keeping them from you. Their lies, deceit, and treachery and trying to, you know, not say certain things, like say one thing and mean another. Okay, like their attempts to gaslight you is what keeps them away from you. Okay, it doesn't mean you're dealing with a narcissist. You could just be dealing with somebody that's like super fucking manipulative. But anyway, we have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Five of Swords in the reverse. So this person... This person wants to put all lies aside, all things aside, okay, and tell you the 100 complete, 1 million percent, I don't know, you know like how Dr. Evil was like, one drupal quadruple million zillion, like, this person wants to come clean, okay, about where their penis has been. Okay, about what it is that they've done, who it is that they've liked, who it is that they've lusted after, why. Like, they want to literally, yes, we to say, like, they literally want to give you, like, their whole fucking psychology. Okay, like, they're willing to, like, lay it down on the line. Okay, because they feel like it's the end. Okay, they feel like, for some of you, they feel like you're moving on and you're going to be in this wonderful, beautiful, single energy and they're going to be, like, dead somewhere. They're going to be laid out in a grave. So they want to come kind of tell you like their last will and testament. Oh my God, are you guys getting a will? Because I said last will and testament without really thinking about like the severity and the realization of like what that means. Anyway, we have the reverse seven of pentacles. This person realizes that they have been sowing all the wrong fucking seeds. Literally, like everything that they have put into you has been wrong it's been negative i didn't want to say that but spirit keeps pressing it on my chest it's like a very heavy feeling that goes on my chest when i don't say what i'm supposed to say anyway so this person feels like they've sold everything negative into you and you still manage to blossom like you still manage to like be you and do the goddamn thing and like attract attention to you and be amazing and now this person feels like they don't have a choice but to be honest okay about where their dick has been they don't have a choice all right we have the empress in reverse they know that this is gonna cause the empress some type of unhappiness <laughs> oh my god what the fuck did your person do that's what i want to know we're gonna get some message cards from here let's see Okay. And I'm hearing take this one because I was kind of looking at this one trying to read what it says. So it says, yeah, fucking right. You think I'm dumb enough to believe you? Get the fuck out of here with that BS. So clarifying this anxiety, this five of pentacles energy and this five of, no, five of wands. Oh, somebody's confused. Clarifying this knight of wands energy. They feel like they're so confused that they're just like, you know, like it can't be true. This person can't be attracting this much attention. This person's got to be hoeing around, sucking somebody's dick, fucking somebody, doing something. Okay, your person feels like you could be literally doing anything. Like they're trying to find a way to match their reality with how they feel <laughs> okay um we have emotions take a back seat for me yeah with this lies and deceit here like this person feels like they try to lie to you to try and get you to go this way or that way to try and tip the wheel of fortune however they want to but they realize that that doesn't work for them anymore with you because you may have caught on to game we have reactive and we have abuse so some of you you're just reacting to the abuse that this person has put you through okay and they want to come at 110 percent clean about the abuse oh shit okay we have bluffing god damn so this person feels like your reactive nature and your your trauma that you've been through isn't fucking real and they want to come clean with you about that they want to talk to you about it they want to be 100 percent honest about it because they feel like this abuse isn't real but part of them knows that them ignoring that the abuse isn't real like they have to come clean about that they have to come clean about you know being an abusive shit pretty much okay 
Um, it says, is there still time to work things out? I miss you and I'm unsure of my feelings for you. So if somebody feels like they want to talk to you to be sure about how they feel about you, to be sure that, you know, they really do view you as this empress, all right? Because they know they're causing you some trouble. They know they're causing you some fucking sleepless nights and shit. Um, we also have, I'm ignorant, no great thinking, I don't get broad concepts, so the person that you're dealing with is very stupid, okay, this person may be a Scorpio, but the person that you're dealing with is dumb, they don't think about anything other than themselves, they don't have any broad concepts of life, spirituality, or nothing in general, okay, and I feel like they're realizing that, they feel like, you know, you're more intellectual than them. Like, they don't want to talk to you or have intimate conversations with you because they feel like you're smarter than them. And that kind of stings them in the ass a little bit. And for some of you, ooh. Because I saw bad sex first and then I saw porn star sex. So for some of you, you've transformed yourself when it comes to sex. And this person is just like, literally, like, I don't know what to think about you. Like, okay, like I said, you're attracting a lot of suitors. And on top of that, this person wants to give you everything, okay, with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups here. They want to start something with you because they see how you've transformed yourself sexually. So I don't know if you've been watching porn or doing something, but um, it's working, Empress it's working okay we have old woman and the past so this could be coming from somebody in your past some like old relationship doesn't necessarily have to be like an old woman with a cane it could be but doesn't have to be okay and it says you are a follower okay and it says i feel stupid when i am talking to you you are so incredibly intellectual literally what did i just say <laughs> I've never gotten so excited about channeling, but literally, like, this person feels like you're fucking smart. They don't know what to fucking talk to you about. We have healing. This person sees you healing. Okay? It says gentleness of love, realignment, and transformation. They see you transforming and, tr you know, attracting all these people to you. And they see that, like, you've even transformed physically with your sex life, like, learning new moves or ways to do shit. And they just don't know what the fuck to do. They don't know what to talk to you about. And we have sacred mountain, vision, quest, clarity, and truth. Truth, Shambhala, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and deep healing, okay? Like, this person really feels like they don't stand a fucking chance anymore because the amount of confidence and attention that you're gaining is too much for them. All right, we have earth and air, stabilization. And somebody wants to talk to you. They want to manifest a conversation with you about this. Okay, earth and air, physicality and, and mental energy and communication, okay? That's what earth and air stands for stabilization physical integration and mental clearing so somebody knows that you want to talk about the abuse okay that you have put them through or that they have put you through angel baby like they know that they have to be a hundred and ten percent clear about what it is that they put you through like with the five of swords in the reverse no lies no deception tell me what the fuck is going on because I'm done kind of energy. And they have portals here, doorways into now, letting go of the warrior. So somebody's letting down their defenses, okay? They don't want to be ignorant anymore. They want to find out what it is that you're doing, how it is that you're doing it. It could be an old woman, doesn't have to. They want to find out, like, is it sex magic? Like, I don't know how to feel about you is how this person is thinking. Like, they don't know what to do they know it's the death of a situation and i just dropped that stick but um they realize that they've been sowing bad seeds into somebody that they could potentially be getting tips from so maybe this person wants sex tips from you but they don't know how to ask okay and they feel stupid when they're talking to you maybe this person literally just wants to talk to you about how horrible their sex life is and what tips they can get from you to make their sex life better and they're like a follower of yours so it's somebody that's close by you okay <laughs> Yeah, like, I, I don't really know. And at the bottom of the deck, I had creation. Okay, unique expression, flow of creation, and joyfulness. Yeah. Like, you've cracked this person the fuck open. Like, open. Wide open. You've cracked their mind open. <laughs> you forced somebody, angel baby, to have a spiritual awakening. Okay, and it says angelic ones. Okay, divine healing, union, 
divine grace and divine guidance. So this is literally coming to you like straight from the above. And it says divine cosmic mother womb. You are loved. You are safe. Rest now and sleep well. Like I said, this correlates with a dream that I had about a woman dying under a house. And she said, it's time to sleep now. Okay, it's time to lay the wicked wind to rest. Literally, and I just dropped that and I didn't mean to. I backed too far into the dresser. But anyway, I'm taking that as a sign, okay? Like, look up what elephants mean. Like, elephant um, spirit totem. Because I feel like for some of you, that's going to be, like, very, very... Like, you're going to resonate with that, like, on a very deep level. But I feel like it's time to lay some old woman or some person like or something about yourself that has grown old divine feminine to rest okay it's time to get rid of it because you opened up a new portal and a new way of thinking and communicating and <laughs> not a lot of people are going to be able to handle it but that's okay okay that's what happens when you heal and when you grow you got the healing card here too so for anybody that needs a personal reading you can go ahead and look in the description box and until next time i'll see you later